What's up, YouTube? So this message is specifically for the black women out there, all right? And that is, you know, preferring dark skin or brown skin black men does not necessarily mean that you are pro-black. Not necessarily. I could see how people would make that connection. I, I understand that. Definitely. But that's not necessarily true. Right? Heck, let's even just, you know, let's just jump outside the community right quick for a minute. There's women, you know, non-black women, who seemingly at least prefer black men. You know, seemingly, um, you tend to see them with black men, like uh, brown skin, dark men especially. But oftentimes, they don't know pro-black shit. <laughs> and they tend to not even care about, they definitely don't care about black women in their plight, right? You know, and they don't even really, a lot of times, don't even care about the plight of the black men that they're with, right? But based on this logic, you know, this mentality that some people have, you know, it would mean that they would be pro-black, right? They have, um, black men and they're having kids with the black man too or you know um having relationships and kids with the black men so shouldn't they be pro-black too like the kardashians for instance do you consider the kardashians to be pro-black do you even consider them to be pro-black men really not really you know i don't really see them advocating for um you know the plight of the black man especially you know, the platform that the Kardashians have. <laughs> but they know they ain't going to, you know, risk, you know, upsetting their, you know, fan base or um, jeopardizing their platform to advocate for black men, especially when they don't have to. That's the thing, too. Like, they really don't have to. They can have, you know, they can have their white privilege and their BBC. <laughs> All right, they can have both of them. So why give up one when you can have both? Right? Yeah. Uh, but to bring it back into the community now. Um, black women, I think, sometimes feel a need, you know, to maintain blackness. Especially because they feel like, you know, the black men aren't doing the best job that they could do at maintaining blackness and I think the black women are like, you know, you know, if I give up on this, then there goes the community, you know, and to an extent, I agree, you know, um, although I will say that it's not just black women, black women's job to be pro-black and maintain blackness, though. It's not just their job, you know, really, it needs to be led by black men with black women, black women following You know, if black men want to be seen as leaders of the black community, you know, then you got to be the leader when it's not convenient, not just when it's convenient, right? You got, if you want to be in charge, you got to be in charge all day, every day. You can't just jump in and out, you know, like even on your job, your manager can't just jump in and out of being the manager like, oh, well, <laughs> not today. Like, no, they got to be the manager. As long as they are employed as the manager, right? And as long as they're receiving the pay rate of a manager. You know, and as well, we know there's, there's shaming and guilting of black women who are with, you know, even black men who aren't like the blackest men, right? You know, even there's shaming and guilting that goes along with that from both black men and black women, right? Um... And I think part of the guilting is that, at least from the black women who guilt black women, it's like, oh, you know, you're not being pro-black. Oh, you don't, you're not down for black people, you know. But notice, though, that same requirement is not pushed on black men as much to be with brown-skinned, dark-skinned black women and to be pro-black. If anything, what's being pushed now lately, well, not even lately, but especially lately, is... You can be pro-black and not even have to 
have a black woman at all of any shade. <laughs> she can be white, Hispanic, uh, Asian, Middle Eastern, but you can still, the black man can still be pro-black in absence of the black woman, right? Personally, I kind of think that you can be pro-black man, you know, um, as you can definitely be pro-black men, um, but as far as pro-black people, uh, you know, the jury's still out on that. You know, is it possible in some stretch of the imagination? Perhaps. But the thing is, that should not be pushed as standard. That's the thing. I think this is slowly but surely being pushed more and more as the standard. <laughs> And that should be the exception, you know, the extreme exception. But yeah, notice that. <laughs> I, yeah, I, that requirement, that's not required of black men. And even when black women kind of try to push that, it's like, it's almost like she gets shamed for trying to... <laughs> Push the same thing that's pushed on her, essentially. You know, and really, I don't think it's asking a lot. Honestly, I, I really don't think it's asking a lot for a black man who claims to be pro-black to be with a black woman. You know, perf strongly, like strongly, preferably darker than a paper bag. You know, I don't think that's asking a lot. But again, some of these dudes act like you asking them like, <laughs> like the cash streak themselves or something. <laughs> the way that they these dudes be acting. Some, not all. Some, all right. Yeah. Uh, but one more thing before I uh, close out. I had mentioned the Kardashians, but there are some black women in this in the community, especially some light-skinned, you know, biracial mixed black women in the community who low-key kind of have that same mentality, you know. Maybe some brown-skinned, dark-skinned women may be kind of perhaps speckled in there, but mainly these light-skinned, biracial mixed females, some, not all, have this similar mentality, whereas like, oh, you know, they'll kind of get with this brown-skinned, dark-skinned black man you know, and you may think that they being pro-black because they with a black man and they uplift in blackness and, you know, and saying, you know, uh, black is better, light ain't right, etc. right? But a lot of times these women be on some low-key superiority shit, right? They getting with this black man because they feel superior to him. They like the way that he exalts them. He uplifts them, puts them on a pedestal especially over his direct counterpart, right? And some of these women feed off of that, right? While low-key having some anti-black sentiments of their own, where it's like, I don't want my kids to look like that nigga. <laughs> like, they may not be as be vocal about it, but in their head, they're hoping that their kids come out looking like them with their phenotype, right? It's even been, you know, like some women, you know, who have even expressed that, like, oh, like, you know, thank God my child didn't come out dark skin, you know, heck, even there's like, um, I never actually watched this video, but, um, there's like this video of like this dark skin girl and this light skin girl and they're having like more or less like a contest and they're asking guys, you know, light skin or dark skin, right? So, you know, one girl who's dark skin would be the dark skin pick, and one girl who's light skin would be the light skin pick. And one of the girls on there, she who's light skin, I think she's she's not even married. She's like has a dark skin um, man as like her baby daddy, but I think she has been. Some people have said like she's even been caught making like sly remarks about him. As well as like, oh, she wishing her daughter didn't come out like, you know, have like nappy hair or like, you know, really thick coarse fine or thick coarse hair, you know. And basically, she wished her daughter came out looking more like her, 
right? So we even within the community, there's people who have this. They they may be with brown skin, dark skin, black men because they make it really easy to get with them. <laughs> uh, you know, they'll accept anything. Yeah, you know, some, not all. You know, garbage man, play the garbage man and go dumpster diving. You know, bottom feeding for dates and shit. You know, but still, like, even, you know, it shows, like, anti-black sentiments, even when there's, like, you have, you know, your, the, you know, the, ch the parent of your child, right? Your children, right? Like, the father of the child, the children, you know, and based on people's mental mentality and logic, you know, the way they think, oh, she would be pro-black. She would be more pro-black than, say, a brown-skinned, dark-skinned woman who's with a like a light-skinned, mixed biracial dude. And a lot of times that ain't it don't necessarily work like that. But people think that it does, especially when it comes to requirements for black women. <laughs> now, and before I go, I'll go on record and I'll say that I think that when it comes to cross, like cross. Like relationships within the black community cross shades like light skin with dark skin vice versa you know I feel like low-key there's while there's bullshit in like both you know relationships when when it comes to like dark skin men and light skin women and light skin men and dark skin women I think there's bullshit in both of those relationships but I think that it tends to be less bullshit when it comes to the light skin men and the dark skin women as well as the mixed biracial dudes with brown skin, dark skin women, for some reason, um, and I guess it just has to do with maybe, perhaps black women vetting men better than you know, brown skin, dark skin, black women vetting men better a little bit better. Um, also, maybe perhaps because of a lack of promotion of that relationship, um, perhaps maybe the light skin dude having some sort of a like, well, not having to deal with, like, self-esteem issues, you know, because I think it's, like, either he's moving away from blackness or kind of moving towards blackness. I guess you can say he's kind of staying the same, the same too, if he's, like, with a light skin or mixed woman herself, his self. You know, but usually we don't tend to see those relationships a lot, but I guess they do happen, but you know, I'm usually a bit like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> you know, I guess for me, like where I'm from, I just tend to see, you know, either dark skinned people with dark skinned people or light skinned people with dark skinned people and vice versa, you know. And I think that's just because of the area that I'm in. It's just a lot of uh, brown skinned, dark skinned people. And, you know, and as well, I've just been. Like lately, I've been kind of taking notice, and I do see like a lot of like brown skin couples and dark skin couples. Like you know, both the men and the women are both the more or less the same same skin tone. I do see that like a like a lot in my community, you know, you know. But I kind of just feel like you know, if a light skinned biracial man wants his kids to look a certain way, you know, I think he has enough sense to make sure that happens while the Females, light skinned biracial females, on the other hand, I don't know what's up with them. I think I think they get caught up in that the feeling of being desired, you know, being put on a pedestal and it exalted so much, you know. So it kind of puts logic, you know, logic takes a back seat at that point, <laughs> you know, until reality hits when the kid comes. <laughs> Right. Um, you know, and as well, I meant to, I got one more thing. I promise I'll be done. <laughs> um, and I'll say it's just the light skinned folks in general, light skinned biracial mixed folks in general who were like particularly like raised or brought up in like a majority black environment. You know, sometimes I think what happens is they do tend to seek out. Um, black partners like monoracial brown skin dark skin black partners you know 
One, as I guess a way to maybe show that they're really, you know, quote unquote down for black people. And, as, you know, and, you know, to solidify themselves in blackness, you know, as well, you know, to show how they feel about blackness, which, you know, I think, you know, they're sincere in it for the most part. You know, I think it's some people may say that it could be just for show. Um, I think most of the time when it's sincere, usually. Um, but as well, I think sometimes it can just be seen as like in an like in an homage, you know, like, hey, like, you know, you know, I have so much love for black people. I want to make uh, make them a part of my family. I want to have kids, you know, marry, have kids with them, perpetuate blackness, and you know, of course, that's not a bad thing at all to do, you know. Um, and as well, I I even think that. You know, non-black people who are raised in black environments, sometimes this tends to happen, right? Like that one like token white guy that was raised in like a black environment, you know, that happens too. Um, you know, some like Latinos or Asian folks as well. Like, I think it just kind of a bit like... I think people, uh, uh, sort of like a human nature sort of a thing where feeling the need to fit into a particular group, you know? And since they were surrounded by black people, that's the group that they tend to gravitate towards, you know? And I don't even say even black people themselves, like black people who are raised in like a black environment are more likely to be with black people than black people who are raised in a non-black environment. You know? Sort of like just psychology and human nature. You know? So, I didn't mean to go on for this long, but thanks for watching. Feel free to comment. I appreciate you. Adios and goodbye for now.